All right, so back to jujitsu. Uh, right now, I'm rolling with James. He's a lot lighter than me. Um, so, and currently, my arm is still kind of fucked up at the moment. So, it's my left arm, the one that I'm touching my chin strap with. And I notice I'm not really wrestling right away. It's been like almost two or th two months or two weeks since I've, or maybe oh, one week since we last like uh, since I last went hard. Working a lot on my butterfly guard, get the overhook, um, literally going to go for a sweep. He's pushing way too hard into me, and I go for a sumageshi, bam, uh, but didn't complete. And one thing about James is, like, dude, people get better over time. I remember when I had complete control over him and stuff, and I actually tried to shoot for a leg lock right there. <laughs> I didn't slide my, uh, my, knee, my knee line through, um, literally just pulling him. Uh, sitting up, go for a Marcelo teen just to threaten the threaten the sweep, but he actually taps out. So I was actually going to follow him up top if he uh, didn't tap out. But yeah, and now play bottom guard. And I think that's the thing, right? Like when you are a bigger guy, you need to go work your work your bottom game a little more. How often do we play our bottom game? And right now, like uh, you can tell that uh, I am. Uh, I'm trying to shoot for a leg lock right now on James and uh, we are playing footsies and unfortunately I can't see like what the battle between the footsies are bro so rolling over I can't see <laughs> I wish I had a better angle I need I definitely need someone to kind of uh, record I think I get him in maybe a heel hook or something I'm not quite sure so back in a seated uh, open guard right now so right now we are playing guard. Um, I'm trying to do. I don't know what it's called. I was trying to go for that like open guard, like where where you get into Ashi and stuff like that. But uh, I don't know how I got here. I don't like playing here against smaller guys all the time because I just crush, 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 right? And like literally, I'm cross facing him, and so I'm just working my flow and stuff not really working my submissions like so i've been working this new lockdown thing that i saw on teach me grappling it's when you cross face the the upper body and then you hook the bottom leg and get your foot out so that's how i end up on side uh practice my kimura setup i don't think here and i try to shoot for truck and i always f this is my bad side for truck so I, tr I remember i was trying to pull for truck but didn't work out uh threaten threaten and i always forget which which leg goes uh locks down and i fuck up right there and i can see it right away like oh i messed up bro and i'm just like, uh whatever i'll just take the back bro <laughs> so <laughs> took the back and uh literally we just reset um yeah but again smaller guys I definitely like to play bottom game a little more, um, just work my escapes, and I'm actually a lot lighter in this picture than or this this role than some of my other roles. Um, working my Z guard right now, uh, try and go for um, I think right here. Oh yeah, so I remember I'm going for Kimura trap right now. So he's crushing me, and uh, I'm trying to shoot my left arm over that Kimura. I go for underhook. Um, I'm not sure if I go straight for a lockdown. I think I might be soon. So, Z guard. I don't really play Z guard. I don't really have like a lot of good attacks from Z guard, honestly. Um, I know some people shoot for triangles, but honestly, triangle game is not my thing, bro. Like, I'm not much of a triangle type of person. Um, literally, uh, try to go for that Kimura trap over there, and uh, I forget. Oh, not so bad. So, Patrick. Um, he actually taught us all this Kimura trap stuff and I forgot and so oh yeah so I go into like this really weird uh, reverse triangle type of thing I'm not sure if I remember oh uh, yeah there we go there we go yep tightening it up tightening it up uh, I think I'm not I think I have it on the wrong side I think I don't even know <laughs> this is really bad because I know I didn't really get it because I literally had to force it in and uh just tightening that up, tightening it up, pulling that arm, and he taps. So that's what happened. Um, yeah, so I love that reverse triangle. That that thing has been so fun. Um, it's really, really great. So, yeah, man. Again, seated position. This time I'm on my knees, which is weird. Oh, so, yeah, I, I'm going to sit on my ass. Yeah, uh, when I'm with like people like James, um, 
I need a. I, I definitely work on my bottom game because my bottom game hasn't been that great recently. Um, I feel like I surrender a position a lot, and he he does a ooh, nice nice pass by the way, very scrambly, and I like literally work work in my frames right away, try and bridge against the hip, uh, try and get my left arm across his face, and I literally flip him over into. Uh, and then go for my signature Americano, bro. That's my favorite move. Or actually, I don't finish the Americano. I think, oh yes, because one thing that I have been working on is definitely my um, my uh, north-south choke. So I'm working it, working it. I'm trying, I, I don't really, yeah, he tops out. So <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, when you're a lot bigger, it's easier to crank those submissions. But I'm not the type of person that is super, super aggressive with jujitsu. Um, yeah, man. So that's that's round one. Um, oh yeah, and we it looks like we go another round. I literally try to shoot for an Minari, but I'm just like, oh, that's not a good move to do. I I I shouldn't do it on that arm. I should do it on the other side where I'm not injured. And I think the round is ending soon. And so, really butt scooting around. Um, more, more. I'm trying to go for Ashi entry. Yeah, I go for Ashi entry sweep. Um, and James is doing the right thing. He's stuffing my foot. He's trying to sit on it. And, uh, yeah, man. And when it comes to legs, I'm not that great. I'm not a really great legs person, but I just go for it back and literally go back for a truck. So I think I'm, uh, he doesn't turtle up. So I'm just like, fuck, he didn't turtle up. But you know what? Look at this. I should have gone for a twister side control and then rolled into my truck from there. Um, so yeah man it's, it's so crazy as you get better like you see all these positions as you're reviewing your tape so that's end of round one slap hands and let's go to round two three two one let's go so round two i'm actually going against uh ari i think he is a purple belt try to go for arm drag and i'm laughing because my arm is so fucked up so playing a little bit bottom uh I'm like, <laughs> I really want to shoot for Minari. I see so many en entries, and I'm just like, fuck, he's trying to pass me. Uh, my legs are in the way. Butterfly. I love Butterfly Guard. I, I flip him over, but I didn't go get on top. So I really need to focus on getting on top. He is passing my guard, passing my guard. Yeah, he passed it. So, yeah, dude, he passed my guard. So, literally... I'm just framing against one hip. Uh, I can't see the other other side. I have his bicep. He's trying to step over over my head and go for like an arm bar and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I actually get really tired during this match. I think we're around the same way actually too. So I literally frame against his head, um, frame against his sh bicep. Um, and I'm, I'm afraid against the bicep. And I do that same thing because uh, it happens a lot to me too. And so uh, one thing that I'm noticing too, I don't have enough hip action, hip movement. I'm not moving enough, right? And uh, I think for like right now, I'm just kind of chilling. This You got to realize this is my like second week of, I mean like second, like in two weeks, I flip him over because he over commits, right? And I get that a lot actually. So sometimes I'll wait, I'll bait people to overcommit. I'll push in, and then create um, cause I think it's called Kazushi, and I go for north south choke, right? But his arm is in the way, so I'm like, fuck, how do I get that out of the way, right? And uh, try to go for a Kimura. Usually when I'm here, I'm usually going for Kimura, but um, back into side control, control. Like, I, I try to use my left knee to battle that his shoulder and control his shoulder. While the other knee is controlling his hip, I'm literally going around, go around, go around, rip for a Kimura. I wish I knew a better way to kind of rip that Kimura over and over again. Like, I literally just try to pull him, and now we're back to square one. So, like, I'm on my weak side for my side control. And just waiting, just baiting. Uh, try and go for a. So if you see that I put my knee on his hip, I'm actually going for a um, for a shoulder choke actually. And I think I maybe get a Kimura on this side, right? So yeah. Um, 
still in the same position still in the same position still got side control for the most part so i would say i'm not lowering my hips uh low enough and stuff and i'm not controlling him as much as i want to a more dynamic movement oh man i fucked up right there so uh uh he throws me over back into butterfly guard so if you can't tell i love butterfly guard a lot like it's fun for me because i get to work all these positions right i can like shoot it shoot into um shoot into leg locks and stuff but yeah literally try to defend the hip and stuff i don't know like i'm not even sure if that's worth it like putting my knee onto my other knee and like bracing against the hip so he can't pass uh i don't know if it's worth it so not sure if what happened there he probably just let go i think he <laughs> i think he i i might have farted at this point there was a moment when i like he does knee on belly and i was like laughing so we're back here looking for a uh iminari actually like yeah so i try to remember my my <laughs> my leg lock sequence and it's uh but I'm trying to get him into honey hole. Doesn't work out. And I end up in <laughs> in uh butterfly guard, so <laughs> exactly. So Oh my god. He passes me again. Passes me again. And it's really interesting. Sometimes like some days like I I totally dominate Ari. There's days that he totally dominates me. But recently I just haven't been in the same flow at all. And I'm C cupping him right now. Trying to push him off, push him off, um, and <sighs> I don't know what happens here. Um, let's see, controlling the bicep, and I think like side control a lot of time is actually controlling that top bicep a lot. Like once you have those frames in and you you straighten your arms out, uh, it's really hard for the top person to do anything. I've been on that side before too. And you can actually like uh, Heisman out uh, of like side control too. Um, I think one thing I need to do is practice more of my side control escapes because I only got like two. I either sweep, he tries to step over my head to go for that arm bar. Um, and I don't know what I'm doing. I'm Oh shit. And I go for another uh, roll over and I'm on top again. So as you can tell, we have like me, so, like quite a few exchanges like that i am locking up a kimura again and already knows at this point like i i go for kimuras and and americanas it's pretty apparent right like those are only positions i shoot for he's blocking my hip i really need to clear that right like my right hip um and really control that over his head and stuff i'm going for a judo side control try to step over didn't work out he's framing he's framing he's framing north south position and one thing i've been learning a lot is actually learning how to do north south choke so i'm not not really pro at it i've been going for like a lot of arm triangles and north south and stuff it's hard though like it's hard like i don't know i always get in like one thing i've been struggling with is like i always get in positions but i always have trouble like finishing it so yeah man um right here he's grabbing onto my head is he gonna try to roll me over i try to go for <laughs> for a north south choke and i'm just like uh gotta walk gotta walk gotta frame against the hip abandon and i think like one thing i'm noticing too during this life roll is that i abandon too many good positions man like I, i'm trying to be too sneaky and just i give up way too quickly rather than fighting that position holding it tweaking it you know um trying to go down that route so uh, more north south position um again lock up another <laughs> kimura so you can see i've locked up the kimura like a few different times man and like right now trying to get there he he's he's just defending it i'm just like fuck so if anybody knows how to has any good videos or any tips to kind of get that kimura finish let me know i i've been really struggling with it recently especially with people my body size um just really having a lot of trouble with it i'm trying to go for another americana um attempt and just like smush him and i think ari is doing a really great job of just um just really putting a frame in front of us and yeah man it's really it's really cool um i forget how long this round is like dude let me check for a second i don't even know where we are when it comes to uh 
how long this video is. But again, I'm going for another Kimura. And he rolled out of it. So, yeah, man. Um, again, I go back on my ass. We're literally starting over again. I try to shoot for Imanari. And I think I'm smiling. Because everybody knows that's my favorite move. And, uh, yeah, the round ends. So, that is um, day one being back out off of two weeks. So.